and gentlemen, prepare to experience a new dimension in comedy. It's time for Stand Up at the Comedy Store Live in VR. Now, please welcome to the stage your host, Rialina! This is thrilling. Thank you all so much for coming out. My name is Rialina. I'm going to be hosting the show for you today, so I'm going to be on and off and seeing a lot of you. All right, so get comfy. And let's see who we've got in. Look at our beautiful front row. Look at this. Did we, like, pick you at the front door? Look, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I know we just had International Women's Day, and we've just put them all in the front with a token man. Uh, just, just one token to remind ourselves that they exist. Hello, my love. <laughs> You didn't plan for this to happen, did you? But look, 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 you lucky bastard, huh? Every other gentleman in the room is looking at you going, I wish I was sitting there. <laughs> Folks, listen, we have got four fantastic actors to you, and I would like to introduce the first of them to you now. You may have seen him or recognize him from his Uncle Roger videos on YouTube. Oh yes, some of you already know what's going. I want a massive round of applause, please, and welcome to the stage, the fabulous Nigel O. Hello, Comedy Store. How are we doing? Yes. You know, I envy. If you're born in the UK, right? That's something I envy you for. If you're born here from Britain, you're gonna completely fuck up your lives here. Be a total loser here. You can still go to Asia and teach English. <laughs> what an amazing backup plan, right? You don't even need to learn new shit, you just go. There's probably some poor kid in Cambodia right now going, have you always wanted to be an English teacher? Nah, I used to be a surveyor for commercial property, so nah. It's, just... it's a shit job, mate, shit job. Yeah, people at home, it's her. It's her. Look at it. <laughs> uh, by way of introducing myself, as I said, my name is Mark Watson. Uh, not that long ago, I was voted one of the 50 sexiest Jews on Twitter. So, uh, there you go. Yes, that's... Um, thank you. That's what you're dealing with tonight. If you put your headset on earlier thinking, I, I think I can cope with pretty much anything unless he's too sexy and Jewish, then you, you are in trouble. Um, <laughs> Take your hand away from that like button, it's over. I um, don't know if there's anything stronger than a like button for uh, extreme feelings of like. I, I, um, it's a weird one. Obviously, quite mixed feelings, really. I'm divorced, been divorced a few years now, so it's nice to be called sexy, with any amount of caveats. But uh, obviously, sexiest Jews, and then just the ones on Twitter, uh, is, yeah, quite a limited subset uh, of another quite limited subset. Also, I'm not Jewish. That's the main thing. I, I, um, genuinely, no Jewish blood whatsoever. No idea how they collated this article, but it was not done very thoroughly. I'll uh, tell you that. Uh, any Northerners in this room? Any Northerners watching? It's fucking speak Old English. You only got foot balm cake, down Ginnel. You got that? You fucking hobbit, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, but the, the accents change so quickly. Even now, we're in the southeast, right? It's, it's London. And uh, it's, mine is an Essex accent. It's a slightly different sound. If you're watching and you're abroad, it's not a London accent. Let me demonstrate. London accent is more open. Can you hear the difference straight away? My vowels are open, but so are the end of my words open. Everything's open, school gates are open, go through them. Don't need school, right? <laughs> Essex accent, 30 minute drive. And it sounds like this. Still got the London vowels. Can you hear it? But no, I'm straining to pronounce my words properly to try and sound more intelligent than I actually am. That is the Essex sound. Sounding like a total idiot with absolute fucking clarity. Right? That's the Essex accent. And, uh, it's my accent. That's how we speak. Don't excuse me. I was brought up proper. I'm not a slag. Right? That's our accent. Great to be here at Comedy Store. I tell you, because I, 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 I'm going to be completely honest with you, folks. When I became a dad, I worried that this 
malarkey of making people laugh would mean would mean less to me. I genuinely, I, I worried that the job of fatherhood would mean that the frivolous notion of cheering people up would pale into insignificance compared to the far more vital job of raising two small boys and turning them into the men I want them to be. But I gotta tell you folks, as both a husband and a father, I need this more than ever. <laughs> Honestly. As a man who's been married now for 14 years and been a dad for 12 of those years, it is so important for me to feel, even if just for the next 10 minutes or so, like somebody is listening to a fucking word I have said. <laughs> oh, I do love doing this. I haven't, I haven't always been um, a comedian. I used to be a, I used to be a bouncer. I know. What? <laughs> 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 no, no, one ever, no one ever believes me, it's weird as well. You know, I, was talk I was talking to someone at the gym about this, which was really strange, because I don't really work out that much. Um, <laughs> I don't, stop looking at him. Quads, I don't. <laughs> Tricep, don't, I don't. I don't really work out. Um, the funniest thing I've, I've ever happened to me at, um, at a club was I had a conversation with this kid that called me a racist which was weird, because he was black. He, <laughs> yeah, he, he turned up to the club, I took one look at this kid, I was like, look, you cannot come in. And I tried to be polite about it, I was like, you're not coming in, go home. And he got annoyed. He was like, you lot are racist, you're not letting me in your nightclub just because I'm black. Now, <laughs> I didn't let him in because he had a line of cocaine on his face, which <laughs> I think is a perfectly acceptable reason to not let anyone into a nightclub. Here's the irony, if he was white, I wouldn't have seen it. So... <laughs> Generally, honestly, I think this is the greatest job to do at the moment, stand-up comedian. Do you know why that is? Because everything's shit, isn't it? We've got strikes, we've got protests. Honestly, I never felt more like a key worker than I do right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need me more than I need you. This lady hasn't even got the strength to take a scarf off. <laughs> You've got worse circulation than my nana, honestly. <laughs> Were you on a Duke of Edinburgh and took the wrong bearing? What happened? Can we get this lady a foil blanket down here? It's the cost of living you're keeping the heat in, aren't you? Trying to take it home like a human storage heater. I grew up believing in reincarnation. And if I still believed in, that's a dumb thing to believe in, you know? If I still believed in reincarnation now, I'll just keep killing myself until I hit rich white male. That's how you game the system, right? That's born as a baby. Fuck, yellow again, shit. <sighs> <sighs> Fucking most common model every time, man. I've had five yellows in a row now. I'll take ginger at this point. <laughs> Yeah, any ginger people in? Yeah. yeah, must suck to be ginger, right? To almost have white privilege? <laughs> You're so close. You look, I look in the mirror, I know I don't have it. Ginger's look in the mirror, ah, oh, just a bit too orange, fuck. <laughs> My daughter's seven, right? She's already starting to notice stuff. Soon she's gonna hit 12, she's gonna hit puberty, and then before I know it, I'm gonna have my own activist living at home, which I'm proud of. But how do you ever get stuff done? Are you tired? Like you. It's good that you're, uh, uh, that you're tuned in to what's wrong with the world, but it must hurt, otherwise you're faking it. It must actually physically hurt you. So you're not tired. How do you get anything fucking done? I'm just popping to the shops. Okay, Olivia, see you in a minute, Mum. I'm offended. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Olivia, what happened? Oh my God, it was all the paving stones. Right? All the paving stones were square. Okay. Well, it excludes the possibility of a triangular paving stone. And I just don't want to live in a world of binary... Shut up! Shut up! These days, the high-risk group is the 18 to 21-year-olds, yeah? That's the high-risk group. That's what's at stake today. Oh, my God, I'm offended. I'm going to go to the safe space of the foyer, the triggering area. Oh, my God, I've been triggered. I'm having a trigger attack. Someone, uh, cover me in vegan yoghurt quickly. Ah!